Imagine all you wanted in life was the attention from two people. Imagine that. So I've been wanting to share this personal message for a while and then I saw this video and felt it was the perfect segue. As a parent, I am realizing I have a five-year-old son that requires a little, a lot extra attention than maybe the typical child. He requires extra patience and effort and energy. I can honestly say it is the hardest job I've ever done. I wanted to share this message though because I wanted to talk about the importance of prioritizing and also the fact that I believe God is testing the Christian church right now to make sure we have our priorities in order and that we don't quit just because things are hard. Yes, my son has special needs. I also have special needs. I think most of us do have special needs. We all have areas where our bodies are strong and we have our talents and so forth, but we also have areas where we struggle. For me, it's autoimmune disease. I've had it since I was 16 and I'm constantly dealing with debilitating health issues from depression, anxiety, fatigue, migraines, you name it. And so life is hard on a regular day, right? And then in 2020, I made the decision to start sharing conservative content. Being a conservative content creator is one thing, but being a Christian conservative content creator is a whole nother beast. I'm not just showcasing that people shouldn't put their trust in the government and here's why, because you know this is reality and this is what's really going on. I'm taking it a step further to say, yeah, but you need to replace your trust in a president with putting your trust in God. And I'm here to tell you that the social media platforms are furious because I share a Christian conservative perspective. So within 10 months of growing an audience on TikTok to 100,000 people, I honestly believe it grew so fast because people in general are just so sick and tired of being told how to think by Hollyweird and they're sick and tired of mainstream media just spewing out propaganda, that they are hungry for truth. They are hungry for substantial evidence and reality. And so anyone who shares that is going to grow their following rather quickly. But because I infused the Christian con or the Christian content in there, they put me in a shadow ban in 2020, have not lifted it ever since. They might lift it for a couple days here and there, but for the most part, I am put back in it. They also kicked me out of the creator fund because they want to make sure that I don't make any money for doing what I do. They want me to quit. And yet that is the price that a Christian has to bear. And that is why it's so important to not give up, to pray for one another and continue encouraging one another. In fact, it's all throughout scripture, especially in the New Testament with the early church. They were constantly being told to be patient in their affliction and to continue having hope and to be faithful in prayer. So in summary, I wanted to update you on where I'm at and to admit to you that it hasn't been easy. Um, I realize I can't put out as much content as a lot of these other content creators. There's a lot that goes into my skits. I do it all myself from the writing to the acting and the editing and so forth right now. I'm trying to get a podcast going. I'm trying to keep a, t a team together. It's been a lot. It, it honestly has been a lot. Yet I refuse to give up. And I really believe it's because I am supported by so many people like yourself who are praying for me and encouraging me. So I wanted to share this message. Hopefully it's encouraging to you um, to just keep going because it's a test. We are living in an upside down world. And yet at the end of the day, God wants us to keep our priorities and to not be ashamed to tell others that we have a faith. It's worth it. It's all worth it.